All right, we're live, finally, running late as usual. So still getting a few things set up. We'll wait for people to file in. And welcome to MTG Unpacked. Today we will be going through all the patron snap packs, putting those together for people. So if you're not familiar with that, we pull uncommons, commons out of here, rares, mythics, foils, and we see what the patrons get. So can't wait to get stuck into it. And I see a couple of people here already. Welcome Ben P, Cosmo, Matthew, Phyrexian Obliterator, Katie. We're getting all the gang together again and I'm doing something different. Usually these would be pre-recorded, um, but I figured I didn't really have time for that today. So I will do a live stream. And let me know if there's any issues with the audio or anything. I'm still getting my laptop set up here, so I'm not sure what this is looking like. You mad, bra 99 welcome, sir. Um, welcome Dylan, so I've got a couple of other people filing in. So what I'm planning to do today is for the patrons that are here, I'll actually be opening your, or not opening, putting your snap packs together while you're watching. So that'll be something a little bit different. Usually you would have had to wait for your video. You're not quite sure when it is, but we're going to try to do it a little differently today. Okay, logging into YouTube here. Hey, Ryan. And if you're watching this later, you may wish to skip over this beginning part while we're just getting set up here. It's the nature of live streams, unfortunately. And looking at my stats, we're getting awfully close to a thousand videos. Holy cow. What have I done? Okay, so going to my live control panel here. Ah, got it. Let's see, events, live control room. And yeah, Matthew, I hope you had a chance to watch your video this morning. Let's see here. Okay, good health on the stream. Let's get that. Playing, turn the volume off. Okay, so I think we'll get started here. So we'll start off with some patrons. They're not actually here right now, but uh, they have the, they're just getting the foils out of the snap pack box. So we will rearrange things here. Oh wow, nice. Matthew is on deployment. So yeah, I hope you can get a chance to watch the video later. Let's see here. Um, so we will start off with Ronald DePetro. So if you're not familiar, Ronald has a YouTube channel. He cracks packs. He goes by the name MTG Ronnie D. I've mentioned him on the channel before. If you're not already subscribed, you might want to go and check him out. Has a lot of great content there. So let's pull a foil for Ronald from here. These boxes are really stuffed full this month. Oh, here we go. A nice foil, Soul Caesar. And this is one of those flip cards. So it flips around into a ghastly haunting. Wonderful. 
So there we go. What is that? Um, not Innistrad. Is that, uh, what's the other one? Can't think of it right now. Leave a note in the chat if you can remember that set name. Okay, so thank you for being a patron, Ronald. And welcome, Relizters. Thank you for coming to the stream. Okay, next patron. We have Lucas. Yeah, Dissension. What did I... I think I have it, uh, checking, oh, Dark, Dark Ascension, I think it is, okay, so Lucas also gets a foil, so let's grab that out of here, and what do we get for Lucas, a Remorseful Cleric Rare, nice. So we'll set that aside for him. And you might notice some of the patrons already have cards. So that means I've done their pack opening videos already. And then the empty envelopes, their pack openings are to come. So stay tuned for those. And welcome, Bobo. Okay, next we have Mike R. And as you can see, Mike has done rather well already. So let's grab a foil for him. Okay, we get a, another foil rare, Savageborn Hydra. Some nice foiling on that one. So thank you for being a patron, sir. And <laughs> I get this question from time to time. So Relizter says, can you do a collection video? The thing you might not realize about a YouTube channel, I have so many cards, there's no real organization. Everything's in either stored somewhere, piled up, um, very little, uh, things are all over the place. A lot of the cards I end up selling or giving the patrons. So a collection video would pretty much be impossible, although I do have a binder. I've shown my binder before. Not a lot of stuff in it. Like I said, I sell most of the cards, but maybe we can take a look at that at some point. A new Mad Bra says, are you going to go back to Arena and challenge subs? Yes, when I have some free time um, with the vacation and uh, a lot of work stuff going on. Haven't really had a chance, but that will be cool. Get back to that. Okay, next patron we have Chris Russell. So we'll grab a foil for him. Okay, Arlen, voice of the pack. So nice foil planeswalker. I like the uh, foiling on the outfit there. Very cool. All right, so we'll tuck that away. Thank you for being a patron, Chris. Okay, so now we can dig through. We know a few of the patrons are in the stream. So we'll start off with Matthew. So he's, uh, he's a new patron. Got his signed Jackalope Herd card there already. Got a ton of cards, as you can see. So let's do the thing here. So we're going to get five commons. And this is going to be in painful slow motion now. Normally, I would speed this up in editing. But we are live. So we can't do that, unfortunately. So we get, let's see, five of those and uncommons. And you may have noticed there are two boxes today. So the second box is only commons and uncommons because there's no way this box is going to last. I end up shipping several hundred cards, I think, every month to people. So make sure I've counted right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And then we will grab a foil for sir. And a rare or mythic. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way. Good luck, sir. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, we start off here with a first sphere gargantua creature horror. Lovely beast. Okay, epicure of blood. Glisses scorn. Choking tethers. Eagle of the Watch, Prowler's Helm, so we're moving on to Uncommons, Golgari Raiders, Bloodbraid Elf, and is this a, oh no, this is a, 
Okay, this is just an extra rare. So you get an extra rare time wipe. Splicer's skill. And the foil is a trustworthy scout. And the rare is a heritage druid. Nice. So we've got an elf druid there. What is that? Eternal Masters. So check it out. All right. So thank you for being a patron, Matthew. We'll tuck that aside for you. And I see there have been a couple of questions here. So what do we got? Um, do you sell cards to your patrons? No, I do not. I give them to my patrons in these uh, snack pack boxes. And uh, a lot of the high value stuff, we're talking like $15, $20, even more. That stuff I'll trade at the LGS or I will try to sell it. So uh, not at this stage, not selling the patrons. It's quite a lot of organization going into this. Uh, so next, who else we got here? Um, going through the pile. Here we are, KDW. We've got Umad Bra and anyone else in this pile? I don't think so. All right, so we'll do Katie's first. So you can see Katie got a ley line of abundance already. So good luck, Katie. Thank you for being a patron. We're going to dig into this box again until it thins out a bit, and then we'll go into the other box. And you get the nice hairy arm vision. I don't know if I can compete with Rudy in that respect, but I do my best to grow those arm hairs. Okay, three, four, and five. Okay, and then a foil and a rare. Hey, Joey and the Beanstalk. Check out his YouTube channel. Great stuff. Cracks packs. Thanks for dropping by, sir. Okay, we start off with Spell Snuff. So this is uh, Modern Horizons, actually. I populated the boxes with a bunch of cards from that. Spinehorn Minotaur. And let's get this box out of the way. We've got very little room here. This setup's a little more cramped than usual. Psychic Barrier. Snapsail Glider. What is that? Um... Scars of Meriden, Frost Lynx, Sling Gang Lieutenant Creature Goblin, 1-1 one, one for 4, fantastic, love the artwork on this one, hilarious, Zendikar's Royal, Wasa Chimera, so I had a little interruption there with a phone call, not sure if we're still live, did anyone notice? Leaving it in the chat. Okay, so we've got a Storm Chase Chimera. Shrine of Limitless Power. Gift of Tusks is your foil. And the rare is Archmage's Charm. Okay, so very cool. This is another one from Modern Horizons. So we'll set those aside for Katie. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Unfortunately, I can't turn uh, phone calls off. So I'm streaming through my phone. Okay, so thank you for being a patron, Katie. We'll set that aside for you. And next, you mad, bra 99. And I see there's another question. Where am I from? Um, originally from Australia. Been living in the US for about 17 years now. And a few, on and off a few years before that. So getting close to 20 years. Okay, so you mad, bra 99. Let's dig in here for you, sir. And I'm not sure how many patrons we'll be able to get to in this live stream because we've got like 40-something so it depends if my voice gives out due to goblins. We shall see. I don't, I don't think I put too many goblins in here. So we'll dig and we get the nice hairy arm vision again. Fantastic. Okay, foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, get the box out of the way. 
And you mad, bra 99 As you can see, you know, he got a foil Nissa there, so he's already set, but we're gonna see if we can supplement that with more goodies. Good luck, sir. We got a trusted Pegasus Twin Silk Spider. Negate. Gift of Paradise. Grim Affliction. Hardcover. Web Weaver Changeling. Cruel Celebrant. Moldavine Reclamation. Agent of Erebus. Some cool artwork on that one. What is that? Uh, Journey into Nyx, I believe. And a nice foil rare Atali Primal Storm. Get a load of that guy. Holy moly, that foiling is insane. Rawr. Okay, very cool. And a mythic Oketra the True from Armanket. So very nice. We I believe we've seen Oketra again in War of the Spark. So that is pretty surprising to me. I'd set it up so long ago. All right, so thank you for being a patron, you mad brown 99. We'll set those aside for you. Okay, so we've got some more questions here. And yeah, that's incidentally, we do have a new tier on the Patreon, the legendary jackalope. So this is something some of the patrons were suggesting and we worked through a few details and managed to get it figured out. So you will get six packs. We'll get the rares, mythics and foils out of those along with a legendary creature card each month. And then the deal with that is you see the legendary creature, the creature type, and any other creatures of that type that we pull in the packs, you get those cards as well. So building up a bit of a tribal thing there for commander players. I hope that'll do well. Okay, so next, let's see who else I think. So we've got Dylan. Uh, he's another patron. Cosmo. Going through the list. Oh, Ink Junkie 101. He's got a ton of stuff, so we'll get through those as well. So let's see here. We'll go through the cards. Okay, must be in the other pile. I've got piles of stuff everywhere. Oh no, Joey in the Beanstalk. Ding, 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 ding. Got a super chat. Thank you, sir. Paying to hear that goblin voice. Keep up the great work. Yes, if you too would like to hear the goblin voice, I'm very happy to do that for cold, hard cash. All right, let's continue on here. So still sorting through tons of envelopes. Holy cow. Okay, so we've got Cosmo, found that one, Dylan. And I saw a pile of Umad Bra 90, uh, not 99, Umad Bra 101. Uh, Ink Junk, sorry, oh, I'm getting confused here. Ink Junkie 101. Holy moly, okay. That Nissa confused me. All right, so let's see here. Oh, MTG Hermit. All right, I'll grab his envelopes as well. So in case you had not noticed where any of the patrons who are here were actually going to be getting through their snap packs while you watch. Okay, so we'll start off here with Cosmo. So Cosmo has not had his packs cracked yet. We'll be doing that at some point soon. Uh, let's see, we'll grab the box. Okay, so good luck, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Three, four, and five. And then the uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five. Thanks for dropping by, MTG Hermit. We'll grab one here and another one. Actually, I can do yours next uh, if you've got a few minutes. Okay, we have Ninja of the New Moon, Tamio's Epiphany, Generator Servant, Sarkhan's Rage, Slash Panther, 
What is that new Phyrexia? Chain Lightning. Forgotten Cave. Frontier Bivouac. Pillage. And the Wanderer. You got a Planeswalker there. Foil. Natural Connection. And the rare is Increasing Ambition. Very nice. I think I put this one in the box just today. So that is pretty cool. Dark Ascension, I think. All right. So there we go, Cosmo. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay. So then we have MTG Hermit. Okay, thank you for being a patron, sir. If you're still sticking around, if not, you'll have to catch it on the replay. So we'll get your cards here. And for a one, yeah, so this is where we build these snap packs for the patrons. So you might be getting the idea. So this is just a whole stack of cards that I've pulled on the channel over the years. And we dig through the boxes and see what we can get for the patrons. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then a foil. And we're doing something a little different this time. Normally I would premiere these and everything would be pre-recorded, but I'd be in the chat. But now we're totally live. So let's see. Next we have Stoic Rebuttal, Feral Abomination, Artful Dodge. What on earth is that creature? Erdwall, or the sewers of the Erdwall. I don't know what that is. Weird. Haunted Fengraf, Fencing Ace, Secluded Step, Dovin Hand of Control. Oh, and sometimes, ding, 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 we have extra little surprises here. So, an extra rare for you, sir. Let's dig that out of the pack. Hope he's still sticking around. If not, he'll have to see it later and get a little surprise. Okay, Satyr Piper, Talisman of Hierarchy, and a Foil Greater Basilisk. Anyone know if there's a Lesser Basilisk? Leave a note in the chat or in the comments. And your first rare is a Maelstrom Pulse. Nice. And the second one is a Zombie Apocalypse. That's a cool card. <laughs> Saw that today. I'm like, yeah, I have to put that in the box. So, yep, there we go. Thank you for being a patron, MTG Hermit. So we'll tuck this stuff aside for you, sir. And then we have the big kahuna. So this guy, as you can see, Ink Junkie 101 got his uh, Nissa Vital Force Foil, so that's pretty cool. So that's from one of the Chaos Packs. And he also gets two more Snap Packs, so three Snap Packs total. So we're going to be busy for the next few minutes digging through the box for him. And I think I'm going to have to start going through the other box now because we're running out of stuff here to... Three, four, and five, and foil, and a rare or mythic. All right, so your first snap pack, sir. Ink Junkie 101. What are we going to get? Frostwalla. Move this box out of the way. Baleful Eidolon. Undead Servant. Death Bellow Raider, Spire Monitor, 10th District Legionnaire, Lonely Sandbar, Barter in Blood, Feaster of Fools, Curse of Exhaustion, and a Foil Siege Worm. Some blinding light from that guy. And the rare is Bolus's Citadel. So this one's from War of the Spark. Very nice. All right, so that is your first snap pack. So I usually have to end up sending you two or three envelopes. It depends. Okay, so there's the first one, stuffed full of cards. Okay, next. Who is it but Ink Junkie 101 again? 
So this time we're going to go through this other box here, uh, if I have it the right way around. So we have commons and uncommons here, and this one's pretty tightly packed as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then the uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five. I think the post office probably wonders what happens when I dump like 50 envelopes in there every month. They're like, um, what, is, what is this mailing here? Okay, so second snack pack for you, sir. Seriously? Ah, uh, okay, standard pack. So Chandra is standing on those. We'll do the pack blessings like so. She will dance on the pack. And we will take a look at that momentarily. So you'll get the rares, mythics, and foils, anything over a buck. Okay, so we'll set the wild card aside. That is pretty crazy. That doesn't often happen that it's the first card I pull there. Okay, Uvenwald Bear, Voyaging Satyr, Moonlight Geist, Stream of Thought, Relentless Scarbs, Macabre Mockery, Sunblade Angel. You have got to be kidding me, sir. <laughs> he... That was a pretty big box, and those are not evenly distributed. Okay, we'll get you an extra rare. Holy cow. So, we've got a couple of questions here. Ewan says, how long do you play Magic? I've been playing since Arm and Ket, so a bit over two years. And another question, how do you get a snack pack? You get a snack pack by being a patron at certain tiers. So the higher end tiers, uh, the snack packs are included. Yeah, seriously, Ink Junkie 101 has all the luck today. Okay, Rescuer Sphinx, Lightning Strike. Whoa, look at that foiling. And the first of your rares is a Cordial Vampire. So this guy... He does not drink blood, he drinks red cordial. So there we are, cordial, also known as juice. Okay, and the second rare is Safara Sky's Blade. Look, well, I don't know if you can see it on the playmat there. So that is pretty cool. So we'll set that one aside for you. Okay, so now we're gonna crack a pack. Get stuck into it here. And good luck, sir. What do we got? We have a moment of heroism. Negate. Goblin bird grabber. There he is. Creature goblin. 2-1 for 2. Daybreak chaplain. Barony vampire. And for someone asking about collections, I did a video. If you look for goblin hunt number one, I showed off my goblin collection. So we had the binder for that. Um, some graded cards some decks, and then we went hunting for goblins. I think it was a pack of Tempest, so that was pretty cool. Next, we have Barony Vampire, Gift of Paradise, Heart Piercer Bow, Chandra's Outrage, Unsummon, Prismite, Uncommon, Iron Root, Warlord, Captivating Jaya, Overcome, and the rare is Planar Cleansing. There you go. Okay, we'll set that aside, and the Scar Barons, and a Demon Token. And you can have the token as well, because I think that is pretty badass. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Okay, so that was your second snack pack, sir. But wait, there's more. As seen on TV or YouTube, we have Ink Junkie 101 again, so I will go back to this box and pull some more cards for you sir one two three four and five yeah it's been quite a while since i've live streamed a lot of stuff just because my schedule is so busy i have to pre-record in batches over the weekend but <clears throat> if i can it's nice to do one now and then 
Okay, so I think I've got the commons, uncommons here. Just count that out. Five and five, okay. And then we'll go to the other box here, grab a foil and a rare or mythic. <clears throat> okay, good luck, sir. Let's dig into it. And we've got cards in all directions. Okay, what do we have for Ink Junkie 101? Third pack here, we have Uvenwald Bear. You have got to be kidding me. There really aren't that many in the box. <sighs> okay, yes, his luck is very real today, folks. And gets another rare. Okay, set that aside. That is unbelievable. He's cleaning it out. Okay, extra rare, set that aside. Martyr's Soul, Triton Shore Stalker, Befuddle, Zalfarin Decoy, Builder's Blessing, Army of Erois, Good oh, Gold Knight Commander. Uh, does anybody believe what they're seeing here? I mean, okay, so standard pack. I go and buy some lottery tickets, man. Come on, because this this is insanity. There are literally so there's four extra rares in the entire set of boxes, two standard packs. I believe you have got both of them. So all right, standard pack. Let's go. We have a Vampire Opportunist foil. First of your heirs is a Collector Oof, Oofe, delightful fellow. And the second rare is Spark Double from War of the Spark. All right. So now we move on to the pack here. Good luck, sir. And I think after that, I'm going to have to put these back in the box to give the other patrons a bit of a go because you've taken them all, sir. Okay. We have Metropolis Sprite, Ripscale Predator, Disenchant, Duress, Wolfkin Bond. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go buy some lottery tickets. Sleep Paralysis, Yoked Ox, Gorging Vulture, Growth Cycle, Shock, Uncommons, Herald of the Sun, Rule of Law, Tonebound, Lich, and the rare is Glinthorn Buccaneer, Minotaur Pirate, who's a fan of the Minotaur Pirates, and an island, and an elemental token, and you will get the elemental token as well, sir, because those are cool. All right, so let's put this stuff aside for you in your third snap pack. And thank you once again for being a patron. Okay, next up, I will put some of these, we've got how many wild cards? So let's, let's take a look here. So we've got extra rare standard pack. So these two standard packs. Okay, so I'm going to sneak some of these back into the boxes. To give the other patrons a fair go. Because Ink Junkie 101 took all the juicy goodness. Okay, so we'll put those back in there. All right, so next patron we have Dylan Moore. You mad bra 99? No, those pre-release kits are not for sale. Okay, so next we will dig in here. One two, three, four, and five. Let's see there, yep. And uncommons. Three, four, and five. Yeah, the uh, pre-release packs there are just to make you drool over your... Um, phone or your laptop or whatever you're using to watch this. Okay, so what do we got there? 
Jake, Jacob de Spain. I'm watching you, always watching. <laughs> yeah, maybe do you have a case of mind rot that can lead to those symptoms you're describing, sir? Okay, we have Blade Tribe Berserkers, Parasitic Implant, Spectral Gate Guards, Wave Crash Triton, Thraben Valiant. Yes, I'm very successful in that venture. Angel of Vitality, Corpse Traders, Jaya Venerated Fire Mage. And just don't blame me if you drool all over your phone or what have you. I will not be responsible for cleaning it up. Jaya Venerated Fire Mage, Karametra's Acolyte, Mass Appeal, and a foil. Wow, zap, zap, zap. Look at that. Teferi's Time Twist. And the rare is Domri Anak of Bolus. Nice. So Planeswalker from War of the Spark. So, Ewan, you do not get a snap pack unless you are a patron. So you can check out uh, most of the videos have the Patreon link there. So you can check it out. And welcome, Kao Zun. Thank you for dropping by. Okay, so now I will dig through here. Oh, wow, good point. Matthew, holy cow, I have messed up. So actually, he, he is at the Jackalope Behemoth tier, which means he should get two snap packs. So I'm going to get another envelope for you because this one's getting a little stuff. Thanks for reminding me. So we've got a huge logistical issue here. Sometimes I forget stuff like that. So let me know if I ever miss something out. So we'll get another thing here. All right. So number two there, we'll get you another snack pack. And thank you for dropping by, Ewan. <laughs> Ink Junkie 101 says, thank you, MTG and Pat. Sorry, the greed monster had to show up. And Matthew's like, thank God you put those wild cards in. Yeah. Can't have uh, the greed monster chewing everything up. Okay. So Matthew will dig through here again. So for your second one, two, three, four, and five, okay. And then the uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five. And then a foil, whoop, and a rare or mythic. Got the cool hairy arm cam there. Okay, good luck, sir. Pack number two, Jeskai Wind Scout, Elvish Fury, Prohibit, Chained Throat Seeker. Holy moly, how'd you like a pet one of those? Stone Golem, Talisman of Creativity, Regrowth. Elite Guard Mage, Jessian Thief, Gavany Ironwright, and a foil, Fires of Undeath. And the rare is Shaper's Sanctuary. So this is enchantment from Ixalan. Sadly, rotating out very soon. What is that? Another couple of months. So thank you for being a patron, Matthew. We'll tuck this in here. And he's actually one of the first people to sign up for the new Legendary Jackalope tier. He is one of the people who had some nice ideas about that. So thank you again, sir. Okay, so then let's see who else we have. Anyone else who is a patron? I don't think so. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through the pile here. Next we have Martin. So thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll dig in. We'll go to the other box now because that one's getting a little thin. One, two, three, 
four and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll grab out of the other box. Get a foil and rare or mythic. All right, so there we are, Martin. Let's dig into it. We get a sheltering word. Bar the door. And an extra rare, ding, 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 ding. Okay, so we will reach across here and grab you an extra rare. So that's why I repopulated the box, so we actually get a few more wild cards coming out again. After the greed monster took them all. Okay, Reign of Revelation, Satessan Battle Priest, Dovin's Veto, Throes of Chaos, Cure of Thirst, Tribute Mage, Nylea's Emissary, Vespalark Foil, very cool, and a Leyline of Anticipation with a Eladamri's Call. Okay, so some nice pulls for you today. Martin, thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll set this aside and move on to our next patron, and I have a huge pile of cards here, so I'm going to have to move this stuff aside. And um, if you're a patron, you'll see the huge pile of envelopes I send out every month. It's quite ridiculous logistically, but I'm happy to do it for you guys. Okay, next we have Michael Shoup. Good luck, sir. Three, four, and five for Michael. And I have no idea how long this stream is going to go for. I'll just keep going until I get a bit tired and have to have a rest, I think. So there we are, Michael. Let's dig in. Okay, we have a bone-clad necromancer, sheltering word, As Arkham's Astrolabe, and I hear this is quite a popular card in Pauper. I think people have been um, calling for it to be banned. Aerial Assault, Crushing Vines, and Uncommons, Vampire of the Dire Moon. Whoa, oh, you saw something there. Don't peek. Undead Augur. Ah, okay, Ryan, yeah. I'll uh, look for your thing in a moment. So we have Undead Augur. And a standard pack, yes. Okay, Chandra called into duty again for the pack blessings. So let's set that aside. And <laughs> appetite for brains. Fantastic. Love the artwork on this. Completely sickening card. I love it. Vraska Swarm's Eminence, a Foil Druna Corpse Trawler, that is not creepy at all, okay, and a Rare, whoa, Dread Horde Arcanist, you're doing nicely, I think these are going for about 10 bucks now, holy moly, okay, so the standard pack will crack into Core 2020, good luck sir. Get you the rares, mythics, foils, and anyth anything over a buck. We have Act of Treason, Squad Captain, Fairy Miscreant, Feral Invocation, Audacious Thief, Shock, Stone Golem, Silverback Shaman, Battalion Foot Soldier, Winged Words, Uncommons Howling Giant, Diviner's Lockbox, Noxious Grasp, and the rare is... Oh, this is an extra rare, I guess. Legions. Oh, uh, yeah, extra rare. That's weird. Unless I mix things around here. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, this is the point where, yeah. Legions end is your rare. Okay, this is the point where my brain starts fading. Okay, so that is your rare. I'm still in snap pack mode, as you might have gathered. 
Okay, so Michael, there we are, sir. So you got stuff from the standard pack. Let's set this aside and move on. So Ryan, dig through here. I saw your name in the pile of packs here. So Ryan Patterson, good luck, sir. We will put things together momentarily. Yeah, seriously, I I am showing signs of mind rot. I think it's too much uh, cracking packs here on the channel. Okay, and I have warned you, people. I have warned you, so don't say it can't happen. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Yep, we're all doomed. All of you watching this are doomed. Doomed, I say. Okay, so now... Grab a foil for Ryan and a rare. Good luck, sir. Let's dig into it. Okay. For a second, I thought that was another wild card. We get a Pathbreaker Worm. Mob. Faithless Looting. There's a nice pull. Stonewise Fortifier. Blade Brand. Frostwalk Bastion. Gastbark Twins. Rending Volley, Shatter Assumptions, Rapacious Dragon, and a rare black cat. That's a lucky pool if ever I've seen one. And the rare is Growth Chamber Guardian, Elf Crab Warrior. Get a load of that guy. Very strange. Okay, so those are your pools this month, Ryan. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay, so next we will move on to paper time. Okay, so paper time. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's dig into the box. And then we'll grab from the other box a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, good luck, sir. So is it for paper time? We have an Iron Mere. Who is a Mere fan? Midnight Guard, Blood Burglar, Headless Scarb, Bellowing Elk, Thundering Jin. Ingenious Infiltrator, Dark Steel Mirror. Okay, so you're getting all the mirrors today. Favoured Hoplite, Loaming Shaman. Nice foiling on that. Farika's Mender. What is that? Uh, Conspiracy Take the Crown. Very cool. And the rare is Predator Ooze. So has anyone built an Ooze deck? And which format is that in? So a commander or modern deck, leave a note in the comments. I think you can even do oozes in standard at the moment. So very curious how that works out. So there we go, paper time. And you can see he's got a nice mythic there already. Next up we have, okay, you know who's coming. Leave some clown emojis in the chat for Jeremy Worden, who also has done rather nicely this month. Not that he needs a snack pack, but we're going to give him one anyway because that's how we roll. So let's dig in here for Jeremy. He's a long-time patron. Actually, a lot of these patrons are long-time patrons. I don't know why, but I guess they, they have a case of mind rot. They can't help themselves. Okay, so make sure I haven't miscounted. Because we're getting close to an hour here already. Five and five of those. Yes, clown emojis. Fantastic. Bit of a delayed reaction there. Okay, we get a foil and a rare or mythic. So good luck, Jeremy. A nice string of clown emojis await you in the chat. And hopefully in the comments section, we have a Dawning Angel, Rabid Bite, Grave Purge. It's creepy. Wartai Witch! Yes, it's the Wartai Witch voice making a comeback. Haven't done that one in a while. 
Ninja of the New, Mo New Moon, Scale Up. I think that one was worth a buck or two uh, recently. Sky Knight, Vanguard, Tapestry of the Ages. And Jacob says he doesn't have any clowns. Ah, oh, you poor, poor man. Disfigure, Lightning Stormkin, and a Foil Centaur Corsa with the rare Zealous Conscripts. All right. And Kazan says, my deck has insects. Nice. Do you use the uh, Locust God at all with that one? That would seem to be a good choice. Okay, next we have Jonathan Vogelsang. Nice foil Nissa there from the Chaos Box. So good luck, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Five there, one, two, three, four, and five. And then back to the second box, and this is getting bold over here. Foil and a rare or mythic. Right. So, Jonathan, let's see what we can get for you today, sir. We have Necrobite, Sanctuary Cat. Iceberg, Cancrix, Crab, Lair Delve, Erdwall Ripper, Nahiri Storm of Stone, Briarpack Alpha, Spirit of the Spires, Ministrant of Obligation, Inescapable Blaze. I'd like to see a foil of that. I probably have at some point. A nice foil Thought Scour for you, sir. Very cool pull. And the rare is Chandra Fire Artisan. So this is the one from War of the Spark. Chandra is also, there's three cards in Corset 2020. So if you are a Chandra fan, a lot of cool stuff recently. All right, so thank you for being a patron, Jonathan. We'll get those set aside for you. And next, we have another patron from the... Chaos Boxes, we have Nissa Who Shapes the World, Benjamin Sullivan. Okay, so some nice foiling on that one. Good luck, sir. We'll go mining in these snack pack boxes for you. Three, uh, spoiler, four and five. I think I've got them right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, yep. And a foil. And a rare. Okay, so let's get stuck into it here. For Benjamin, we get a treetop ambusher, slow motion, abundant growth, settle beyond reality, sheltered airy, Riddlesmith, Soul Herder, Afflicted Deserter, which flips around into a Werewolf Ransacker. So, what is that? Uh, Dark Ascension, I think. Fettergeist, Crawl Swarm, a Foil Skillful Lunge. Some nice foiling on that one. And the rare is Priest of Forgotten Gods from Ravnica Allegiance. There we are, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, we'll get that tucked away there for you. And next up, who do we got? Peter Sorensen. Got a nice golem token there, among other things. Good luck, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Three there, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, and back to the foils. And Jacob says it's weird seeing Dark Ascension in English because he only has Dark Ascension cards in Japanese. Yeah, that would be rather strange. <clears throat> sort of like when you crack open the um, Japanese War of the Spark and it's like, hmm, don't really know what's going on here. Okay, Fortress Crab, Shore Strike, 
Revitalize. Selimgar Scavenger. Zombie Bird. That's a tribe, apparently. Mnemonic Wall. Bellowing Saddle Brute. Iron Root Warlord. Light up the stage. There's a nice pull. Syndicate Guild Mage. Welcome back, Ewan. Marfield Twins. Okay, that's unfortunate. And a foil Somberwald Dryad with the rare is Ugin, the ineffable. There he is. We pulled an Ugin. Congratulations. All right, so U Ugin is a nice pull there for Peter. Thank you once again, sir, for being a patron. And moving right along, we have Jack of All Trades. So let's dig into it. And Jacob, yeah, I actually had to order the uh, Japanese War of the Spark from, uh, I think it was Card Kingdom. They had limited quantity, sold out in about two minutes. So I was able to get a box, cracked that earlier um, when that came out. And some of the patrons... Got some packs as well, so that was pretty cool. Pulled a Lily alternate art. I was very happy about that. And that was one of the packs that was reserved for me, so that one is in the album. Okay, so Jack of all trades. Good luck, sir. We get a Kemba's Skyguard. Crosan Tusker. Cleaving Sliver, Nettle Swine, Griptide, Farbog Bone Flinger, that's a perfect name for a zombie, Dismantling Blow, Clone Shell, Grateful Apparition, Bond of Passion, and a Foil, Winter's Rest. And the rare is Kaya's Guile. Okay, so this is from Modern Horizons. Very nice. All right, so there you go, Jack of all trades. Let's tuck this away and let's see. Got to adjust something here. Where are my moderators? Okay. So, uh, Ewan asks, what do I have to do to become a patron? So each month you send me cold hard cash through Patreon and you can be a patron. So... You guys, single-handedly, almost keeping the channel running, wouldn't be possible without you. All right, so next we have Neil Ellis. So good luck, Neil. Let's dig into it. Yeah, there's a lot of Chandra in the background there. Can you tell I'm a Chandra fan? I even have the, the Chandra doll, as people call these things, the uh, Funko Pops. Okay, we got five there. One, two, <laughs> yeah, let's fire this up. Three, exactly right. We're gonna get the crazy pulls here. Hopefully we won't burn too many patrons. Uh, okay, not good with the puns today. Foils and rares, alrighty. What do we got here for Neil? We have an Origins Spellbond. Return from Extinction, Frostwaller, Soul Strike Technique, Scolding Devil, Eternal Taskmaster. Yeah, so Ewan, if you go to any of the videos, not sure if I updated this one, but if you go to any of the previous ones, you'll see the Patreon link there. So you can check it out. Whole ton of options for patrons. Next, we have Tranquil Thicket, Faith Shield, Mahamoti Jin. Teo the Shield Mage, and a Foil Angelic Guardian. And I believe I saw, I did a video the other day, I think it was, was it from the um, Spell Slinger starter kit? I think they had an M20 version of this, and it was going for like 9 or 10 bucks. I couldn't believe it. Um, I think it's just because M20 has just come out. But yeah, these are only like maybe a buck or something. Um, for M19, and the rare is Tithe Taker. There is a nice pull from Ravnica Allegiance. So, thank you for being a patron, Neil. Let's tuck this stuff aside, and I have another huge pile of envelopes I have to set aside here. So, one moment, 
and then we'll move on Okay, next we have Sebastian Blackwell. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's get stuck into it. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then a foil. And a rare or mythic. And World War Dragons Gaming says his Slend Voter Commander deck. He's got some new cards as well as brand new commander for another commander deck. Nice. So what is the uh, what is the other commander there for your second deck? Okay, Diabolic Edict, Moonblade Shinobi, Human Ninja, Cave of Temptation. Rabid Bite, Natural End, Godfaro's Statue, whoa, craziness, Ravenous Harpy, okay, so he says Gargos Vicious Watcher, all right, so does anyone else uh, have a deck with that commander, leave a note in the chat or in the comments, Lingering Souls, Nissa's Triumph, Tracker's Instincts, and a foil, Baron Moore, some nice artwork there. And that's Noah Bradley. I think I saw a post from him. He actually sold the original painting for this. It was very cool seeing that at full size. And the rare is Judith the Scourge Diva. Fantastic. Pulled her as my promo card from Ravnica Allegiance. So I was very happy about that. So thank you for being a patron, Sebastian. Let's tuck this in here. World War... Uh, Dragons Gaming says he's practically investing in Gargos. He's fairly certain he'll go up in value. Yep. All right. So now I will have a bit of a drink here. Getting a little dry throat. And then we will move on. <coughs> Next up we have... Pierre Etienne Poulin, thank you for being a patron, so let's dig in here. Oh, what have I got? I've got three cards there, okay. Four, five, and a foil, and rare. Alrighty. So, good luck, Pierre. We have a Forge Devil, Enduring Sliver. We got any Sliver fans? Built any decks with those guys? Leave a note in the comments or in the chat. Reap the Seagraph, Lava Dart, Manor War, Rebuild, Talisman of Curiosity, Birthing Bows, Threshing Brontodon, Bloodshot Trainee, Creature Goblin Warrior. We haven't seen any goblins in a while. And a foil rampaging brontodon. Pretty cool foiling. And the rare is Aria of Flame. Okay, so that's Modern Horizons. Very nice. All right, so we'll set that aside for Pierre. Thank you once again for being a patron, sir. Next up, we have Eric Kinsey. So let's see what we can get for you today, sir. And then a foil here and rare. <clears throat> Okay, Eric, we have Turn Aside, Undying Evil, and I would have to say this is one of few magic cards that really creep me out. I think the other one is Under the Floorboards, both creepy as heck. We've got a Midnight Guard, Angelic Gift, Viashino Pyromancer, Ajani's Pride Mate, Sentinel's Mark, Grim Flowering, 
Goblin Matron, Creature Goblin, one one for three, very nice. Pyreheart Wolf and a Foil Swamp. Um, not sure what set is that. I don't think I've opened very many packs at all of that. If you know what it is, leave it in the chat or in the comments. And the rare is Herald of War. Very cool. Okay, so who is a Angel fan? Okay, Eric says it's Time Spiral. Sounds about right. All right, so we'll set that aside here for Eric Kinsey. <clears throat> Next we have Eric Palanco. There you are, sir. All right. So good to see you in the chat there. We will do your pulls right now. Three, four, five. That's the advantage of doing this live. If any of the patrons are in the chat, I can take care of it right away. Four and five. Okay, and then foil. And a rare. Good luck, sir. We get a Scoria Elemental. Zealous Strike. Man of War. Uncanny Speed. Segovian Angel. Markov Warlord. Vengeful Devil, Gloom Widow, Mystic Retrieval, and what is that? Another another Gloom Widow. That's pretty funny. Okay, Tenth District Legionnaire is the foil. Jeremy Worden in the house. You missed your pulls earlier, sir. You have to watch it on the replay. And the rare is Mirrodin Besieged. Okay, so from Modern Horizons. All right, so there we go, Eric. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, so... Oh, what what is this? He's got... Oh, of course. He's the one who got the Nissa Voice of Zendikar. That's the SDCC foil. That was a pretty crazy pull. That was from the Chaos Box. Okay, so we'll put that aside for you, sir. Next up, we have Bozza from Down Under. Down Under. <laughs> Down Under. Leyline of the Void. Bozza has done very well for himself already. Let's dig in. One, two. Yeah, Eric, you need to go back and watch the uh, Chaos Boxes. You got some crazy pulls there. Three, four... Five. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I, I churn out so many videos. We have daily videos. I don't think you'll see too many other channels doing that um, for the MTG channels. But it's hard to keep up sometimes. I know myself because I make them. So three, four, five. Got three. Okay. And then I, th I wonder if Bozzer is even awake yet. It's probably like 2 a.m. in Australia or something. And another one there. Okay, what time is it anyway? It's getting close to noon here in the Midwest US. Eaglet says, how many cards do you have? I have no idea, but it's got to be like tens of thousands, maybe 30,000, 50,000. I got no idea. We've got a Spore Frog. He's a charming little fellow. What does he do? Sack him, prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. Okay, it's pretty handy. Searchlight Geist, Phantasmal Form, Chiller Pillar, Contradict, Foul Tongue Invocation, Aegis of the Heavens, Sky Snare Spider, Moldivine Reclamation, Emergent Zone, and a Foil Rare. Nice. Enter the God Eternals. That is a cool pull. And the rare is Vivian, Champion of the Wild. So we've got another Planeswalker here for Bozza. All right, so Bozza, you have done very nicely this month, sir. Thank you for being a patron once again. All righty, and moving on. Okay, so now we've got a stack of patrons without cards. So those videos are still coming. We have a new patron here, Daniel E. Coop. Thank you, sir, for becoming a patron. Gets his signed Jackalope Herd card there. And we will dig into the box now for you, sir. So we get two, three, 
four and five. All right. And one, two, three, four and five. Okay. And then we'll grab a foil and a rare. Okay, so Daniel, what can we get for you this month? And like I said, stay tuned, everyone from this point. Stay tuned for your pack openings. Later in the month, we have Death's Caress, Greenwood Sentinel, Gluttonous Slug, Creature Slug Horror. Now, I am very curious. Has anyone done anything with the Slug Tribe? There's got to be only a handful of slug cards in Magic, so I'm not sure how that would work out, but leave a note in the comments or chat if you've managed to pull that off. We get Freed from the Real, or Slug Commanders, that's what I'd like to see. Stormbound Geist, Reviving Vapors, Curse of Thirst, Village Survivors, Lanawar Tribe, and a... Is this a... Yeah, extra rare. Timeret the Murder King, Zombie Warrior. And a foil, Stone Fury. And your second rare is a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Nice pull. Fantastic. And Jacob says, I got you, MTG Unpacked. I shall make the slugs. Yes. Please uh, point me to the deck once you have put that together, I'm sure we could share that with the other viewers. Next up, we have Douglas H. Martins. Thank you for being a patron. And what's happening in the chat here? Scrolling through. Okay, let's put this together for Douglas. Back to the other box here. Two, three... Four and five. One, two, three, four and five. And a foil and rare. Okay. So for Douglas, we have Savage Swipe, Kessig Recluse, Selimgar Scavenger. We saw that guy earlier. Vault Charge. Ephemerate, Prison Realm, Silent Dart, Nahiri Storm of Stone, nice planeswalker there. Rhythm of the Wild, that's still a thing apparently. Secrets of the Dead, and a foil, a regular cohort. And there is Ugin again, there he is, the second Ugin. I think there were maybe three Ugins in the box this month. So thank you, Douglas, for being a patron. And did somebody say Krenko? I'm a large Krenko fan. Okay, as you might imagine. Next we have Cody Harat. Okay, good luck, Cody. One, two. And Jacob says he's opened, um, probably opened a full box of War of the Spark at this point. Yeah, I think a lot of people have. That was the first set where I had to buy a whole case for the channel because I just, there was so much demand for it. It's like, I think I have one box left, so probably have to restock again soon. Next we have Handwear Lancer, Volatile Claws, Favor of the Woods, Twisted Abomination, Wandering Tomb Shell, Talisman of Conviction, Whip Flare. Jacob says his friend has a gobbo deck and he really hates him for it. <laughs> yes, those goblins can enrage people from time to time. Dreadhorde Twins, Fact or Fiction, Exsanguinate, and a foil, Boros Challenger. And rare is another Dreadhorde Arcanist. Holy moly. I'm handing these things out like candy this month. So these are like 10 bucks a piece. What, a piece. What was I thinking? Holy moly. Well, there you are, Cody. You get a very nice set of pulls this month, sir. And like I said, stay tuned for the pack openings 
later in the month. Next, we have Marlana McCown. Thank you for being a patron. We'll go digging again here. One, two, three, four, and five. Is Dreadhorde Arcanist the new Helm of the Host? I wonder. Surprise me. I didn't think it would go up that much. But yeah, seems pretty versatile. Okay, we have a Phantom Ninja. Illusion Ninja is a tribe. Ghoul Flesh. That's creepy. Gideon's Sacrifice. Torch Fiend. Flatten. <laughs> Squirrel Nest, yes. You can create some 1-1 one -one green squirrel creature tokens. Very nice. Sunblade Angel, Golden Hide Ox, Silumgar's Scorn, Lava Belly Sliver, and a Foil Rare, Lathless Dragon Queen. Pretty cool. And the rare is Psy Master Thopterist from M19. All right, so there we are, Malana. And I believe uh, you're up for the Chaos Box later in the month, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, in another video, five patrons got a Helm of the Host. Okay, who do we have next? It is Derek Nothnagel. Thank you for being a patron, sir. I'm going to have to go back to this box because we've thinned out the other one. Two, three, four... And five. Oh, and I just saw a notification on my phone. Tragic MTG has a new video. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, you might want to go do that. He does all sorts of random buys. And I am totally addicted. Like, that's one of the few channels I'll go back to his old videos and just keep watching and watching and watching. And I, I'm still, I probably have like 50 or 60 more, but I'm like, I need to watch them. It's just captivating i'm not sure why he's sorting the cards and fast forwarding through it all right so derek let's get this box out of the way we have withstand death mad prophet fling hooting mandrels that's us when we get the crazy pools and what do we got here? Scour all possibilities. Warden of the Wall. Meteor Golem. Altar of the Lost. Vine Mare. Crawl Revival. And a Foil Grave Digger. And the rare is Sarkhan Masterless. All right. So who is a Sarkhan fan? Goes right along with Chandra so much so that I think we did a, was it Sarkhan and Chandra chaos box a while back. All right, so there we are, Derek. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Next up, we have Anthony Gonzalez. Good luck, sir. And back to the other box for the foil and the rare. All right, Anthony, we have Rotted Hystrix. That is a delightful fellow. Erdwall Ripper, Stirring Address, Rhyme Tender, Smoke Shroud, Mere Smith, Lesser Mastercore. Gideon's Triumph, Herald of Faith, Dragon Mage. I pulled a foil one of those the other day. A foil Rampaging Brontodon. And rare is Temple of Epiphany. Nice. So I think this is the one that was reprinted, but this is the from Journey into Nyx, this particular card. I think it was what, Core 2020 they put that in. All right, so there we are, Anthony... Thank you for being a patron. 
Next up we have Zion Wilkes. Thank you for being a patron, sir. I think I pulled a Draco Seth for a patron the other day. Can't remember what video that was. Oh, Junior Investments, welcome, sir. We've been going for about an hour and 20 minutes at this point, getting the crazy pulls for patrons. So, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. And then we'll grab foil and rare. Okay, we have Heavy Matic, Chosen of Markov, flips around into Markov Servant. And they don't do artwork like that these days. Griptide, Shape the Sands, Elgord Inquisitor, Chief of the Foundry, Revenant, Scarb Goliath, Windstorm, Frostwalk Bastion and a foil balustrade spy. And the rare is Dig Through Time. All right, so some nice pulls for you there this month, Zion. Stay tuned for your pack opening. And Jay Shing is in the house. You're a bit late, sir. An hour and 21 minutes. Let me put these cards aside. We've got another huge pile of them. All right, and what else is happening in the chat? Uh, Junior Investment says, um, how would he send something in the mail? So if you go to the mail time playlist, my PO box is in the description of those videos. I don't really do a lot of mail time these days. I tend to open the mail in other videos, but there are a whole heap of videos there for mail time. So check that out if you want the address. Next up, we have Twilight's Eve. Good luck. Three, four, oops, spoiler, five, and foil. This is like a, probably the longest stream on the channel, except actually that's not true. The Some of the MTG Arena ones got close to two hours, I think. Okay, Twilight Sea, we have Savage Swipe, Elgord Inquisitor, Niblis of the Mist, Blood Toll Harpy, Kessig Recluse, Urza's Rage. There he is. Has anyone pulled an Urza yet? Heartwarming Redemption, um, what was that, Modern Horizons, Abominable Tree Folk, Lamb Holt Elder flips into, of course, a Silver Pelt Werewolf, Gurmag Swiftwing, and a Foil Desert's Hold. Very nice. And the rare is Cathar's Crusade. All right, that is... Um, what should I call it? I've got it just here. Uh, Avison Restored, I think. All right. So there we are, Twilight's Eve. <laughs> Eric said he pulled an Urza in the same pack as a foil Sunbait Canyon. I hope you bought some lottery tickets at the same time because that is a pretty nice combo. Next up we have Steppley. So thank you for being a patron, sir. And on to the other box, we'll get a foil and a rare or mythic. And there are still some wild cards floating around. So I'm wondering if, when we'll pull some of those. Um, Ink Junkie 101, for those who missed it, nearly cleaned out the whole set of boxes here. So I had to restock partway through. 
That's pretty funny. Okay, next we have Riot Ringleader Cloud Shift. Terrifying Presence. Fists of Flame. Charm Stray. Strangle Root Geist. Captivating Jaya. Niblis of the Urn. Warden of Evos Isle. Rescuer Sphinx. And a Foil Priest of the Awakening Sun. That's pretty cool. And a Gruel Spellbreaker. All right, so that guy looks a bit like the Hulk. Pretty cool. Okay, so there you are, Stipley. Thank you for being a patron. And your Chaos Box is coming up later in the month, so stay tuned. Next we have... Okay, how many more patrons we got? One, two, four, five, six. Okay, six more to go. Next we have Kim R. Thank you for being a patron. Let's dig into it. And a foil. And a rare or mythic. Alright, so what do we get for Kim this month? We have a Black Cat Throttle, Universal Automaton, Airy Bowmasters, Wandering Wolf, Deadly Allure, Grave Tiller Worm, Riddle Smith, Chalice of Life, Latch Seeker, a foil primal clay, that's pretty cool. And the rare is Soul of the Harvest. So we've got an elemental there for you. I think that was Avison Restored as well. So thank you for being a patron, Kim. And the pack opening coming up later in the month. Stay tuned for that. Next we have Elfa Elizaga. So good luck, Elfa. Let's see what we can get to you today. And a foil and a rare or mythic. All right. So we have a Dawn Treader Elk. Maniacal Rage. Custodian of the Trove. Putrid Goblin. Creature Zombie Goblin. Very nice. Loyal Cathar flips into an unhallowed Cathar. Delightful. Sickle Slicer. Avison's Collar. Death Sprout. Harrowing Journey. Vengeful Vampire. And oh, a foil promo. Conduit of Ruin with the Eldrazi. Who is an Eldrazi fan? That's pretty cool. And the rare is Lightning Skelemental. Oh, excuse me. Lightning Skelemental. There he is. That's another cool one in foil. So thank you for being a patron once again, Alpha. And onward, we have Cody Danielson. All right, so we will dig in here for Cody. And a foil. And a rare or mythic. All right. So what can we get for Cody? We have a winding way. Looks a bit like a snake there. Fling! And is that a goblin? That looks like a goblin. Or maybe it's an ogre. Maybe it's a case of mistaken identity. Diagraph Escort. Crypt Creeper. Spell Snuff. I almost thought that was a foil for a second there. Polis Crusher. Oriok Survivors. Scholar of the Ages. Angel's Tomb. Storm Chaser Chimera. 
extra rare and foil. There we are. So we will grab the extra rare here and the foil to replace the wild card. All right. So that is another wild card. Set that aside. And the first rare here we have is Sram Senior Edificer, which I believe is uh, also in some Commander decks. And a foil, no, not a foil, okay, the foil is at the end. Prime Speaker Vanifar Mythic, very nice. It's an Elf Ooze Wizard, who is a fan of the Elf Ooze Wizards. And a foil, Nimble Mongoose. There we are, Cody, thank you for being a patron. We'll dig into this, put that aside, and next we have Brian Simmons. Thank you for being a patron, Brian. So, one, two, three, four, and five uncommons. One, two, three, four, whoops, spoiler. Five and a foil and a rare or mythic. All right. So, what can we get for Brian here? We have a goblin war party. Fantastic. Always great to see the goblins in action. Wirewood Guardian. Now, what is, is that? Um, Scourge. Is that the set for that one? Don't see too many of those. Forge Devil, Amorphous Axe, Stirring Address, Lazatep Plating, and Jaya's probably on the other end zapping that guy. Leyline Prowler, Spite of Mogus, and we got a Werewolf Ransacker. Flips into an Afflicted Deserter. Okay, so I think I had that the other way around. Magmatic Insight. And a foil counter spell. That's pretty cool. Some nice foiling on that. And the rare is Sheltered Thicket. So a nice jewel land. Thank you for being a patron, Brian. Like I said, pack opening coming up later in the month. Okay, next we have Travis Taylor. So we're getting low on cards here, but I think we've got one more patron at the end. And then we're done. So two, three, four, and five. So that's about, what is that, nearly an hour or over an hour and a half. One, two, three, four, and five. Thank you for sticking around if you're still here. You've been watching this whole time. I know it's sort of painful to watch the uh, constructing which I used to speed up in the premieres. All right, so we have a Sightless Ghoul, Crippling Chill, Headless Scarb, Benthic Giant, Chandra's Embercat, Shrine of Loyal Legions, Flame Sweep. We got an extra rare here, Taser Karlov, Dregscape Sliver, that's pretty cool, Stream of Consciousness, Foil, Liliana's Triumph, and the rare is Descendant's Path. So who is this? Therese Nielsen. Some great artwork there, as always. All right, so we'll set that aside for Travis. And then I need to have another quick drink. My voice is uh, running out of steam. And then we'll wrap it up. We've got one more patron. Okay, finally, to round things out for the month of July 2019, this would normally take us four videos with premieres. We have Lou Jukes. So thank you for being a patron, Lou. Let's dig into the box here. And I'm curious what you think of this approach compared to what we normally do, where we have the premiere videos. Um, do you prefer the live stream? Or do you prefer the, the four premieres? Or is it better to have it all in one big hit like this? Leave a note in the comments or in the chat. And everything is messing up here. Two, 
three, four, five. And double check that I might have miscounted. Nope. Okay. And then we'll grab a foil and a rare for Lou. So foil, rare. All right. So next we have Ghoul Flesh, Metropolis Sprite, Ujitai's Summons, or Ujitai, Renegade Demon, War Report, Regal Bloodlord, Dread Malkin. Welcome, Sean. We're just about wrapping things up here. So you might be able to catch it all on the replay. Immo Wolf. What? Wild card right at the end. Okay, so extra rare here for Lou. Grab that. Okay, we'll set that aside. We get Bond of Insight. A Foil Mountain. That's pretty cool. Is that Ravnica Allegiance? And a mythic Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. So who is a fan of the vampires? Pretty cool artwork on that one. Who did that one? Igor Kirillak. And the second rare is Winds of Abandon from Modern Horizons. So some more nice artwork there. So there we are, Lou. Thank you for being a patron. And if I somehow missed your name in the video, if you are a patron uh, at one of the tiers with the snap packs, let me know. I'll look into it, but I think I've got everybody. And we have one final pack here. Let's just crack it for fun. With Chandra's blessing, that's how we do it here on MTG Unpacked. And Sean, I will do the goblin voice if we pull a goblin here. Okay, so let's take a look if we can get any goblins. And I think, it, who was that? Um, somebody early on. Was it MTG Hermit? Or somebody was uh, did a um, super chat for the goblin voice. I thought that was funny. Next we have Sage's Row Denizen. Reduced to Ashes. Jacob gives it his blessing. Yeah, so we're going to get a crazy pull, naturally. Blade Brand with Chandra and Jacob. You can't go wrong. Natural End Sleep Paralysis. Oh, wait. That means it'll probably be a garbage rare. Oh, no. Okay. Yoked Ox Gorging Vulture Growth Cycle. Shock Stone Golem. Uncommons, God's Willing. Welcome back, Junior Investments. This is just a random pack we're cracking here at the end. We've gone through all the patrons already. And Jacob says he only ever pulls garbage. And if you watch this channel for any length of time, you know I pull an awful lot of garbage. It's not always the crazy pulls. The blessings don't always work as much as I'd like them to. Okay, God's Willing, Chandra's Spitfire, and let's see. We've got one more uncommon, Cerulean Drake, and the rare is Field of the Dead. Not too bad, so it enters the battlefield tapped. Tap it for Colors Manor. Whenever it or another land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. All right, there we go. And a swamp and an elemental bird token. Okay, so that wraps it up for the patron snack packs for the month of July 2019. Thanks for your blessings, Jacob. Thanks a real lot. <laughs> no Chandra. But wait, she's here and there and there and there and there. So I'm sure she'll be giving us some crazy pulls in future videos. So stay tuned. And like I said, let me know in the comments if you're a patron or even if you're not a patron, what you think of this format going live instead of um, doing the pre-recorded premieres, which one you like better. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, 
for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we've got more pack cracking goodness coming up the remainder of the month. Uh, actually, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I'll grab some things here. So I have to do a bit of restocking, but the things I do have on hand, um, these are something I'm going to review. They're for new players. So we get these rookie decks, which like to tip over like that, apparently. So these are the uh, Card Kingdom. Not sponsored by Card Kingdom, unlike some channels. I just had to buy these myself, but I think they could be good. Green, black, and blue. So we'll be taking a look at these probably next weekend. And World War Dragons Gaming says rumors for new set might be bringing back Eldrazi. That would be curious. What is it? Uh, Throne of Eldraine. Is that the name of the new set? Uh, leave a note in the comments or chat. I think it's going to have a lot of fairies, but they said it's not exclusively like fairy tribal. So we shall see. All right, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.